If one life is saved, then it is worth it. We are here with Christopher Thresher with The Advocates and Lisa Youngman, who lost her son in 2013 from suicide. Thank you both so much for being here. Thanks and for Lisa, for sharing your story today. This is so important and something that we've talked about a lot in recent months and even the last couple of years. So much more awareness being Correct. brought to suicide, to depression, to mental health struggles. And we'll jump in in just a minute. But Chris, will you just remind our viewers what the advocates do? Yeah, you know, we, we um, love sponsoring these segments and, and coming on here. And we want to recognize Lisa for what she's doing in the community for, you know, for teens and young adults that suffer from mental health issues. You know, I think one of the, you know, as we were talking in the green room, you know, prior to coming in, you know, one of the things that, that, you know, she's been doing to kind of help bring awareness to this issue is helping kids, you know, realize that, you know, that the, the potential that they have, you know, as young adults and the kind of impact that they can have on the community themselves, you know, to kind of help them overcome, you know, some of these mental health struggles, you know, and I think this is appropriate given that it's back to school and, you know, we're con you know, we're thinking about the kids and, you know, and new beginnings as we start a new school year. And so um, we wanted to talk to Lisa a little bit about what she's doing to help kind of bring awareness to this issue. Yeah, and thank you for bringing, bringing Lisa and for this introduction. Now let's go into a little bit about your story. Will you tell us about Matthew? Yes, um, I lost my son Matthew in March of 2013. He was 18 years old and was a senior at uh, Juan Diego and I've been told to focus on what he was and not what I've lost. He was loving, caring, a prankster, a jokester and the things that I did realize about him especially from a young age he cared deeply about people like if he saw someone that was hurting or being bullied or maybe you know um, in, a, in a situation that wasn't wasn't as fulfilling as maybe his, his heart was out for them and he watched out for them. Well, he did that all his life. In fact, I found out after his death that he was the kid in high school that knew if you were new and he would get you to your locker. If you were new on the team as a freshman, he took you under his wing. If you were an opponent on the lacrosse field, he was mean on the field and would play with all his might, but after the game, he'd go pick you up give you a hug and, and send you on your way. So I'm, I'm proud of the man that he was and, and we want to honor that. And he was what I call my Achilles heel because he would tease me and, you know, always hug me and, and love me and I miss that. But I want to I wanna share his memory and keep that alive. And you said you're proud of who he was. Absolutely. As you should be. What a special person. Thank you. So in the last 10 years or so now, mm -hmm. What have you been doing? You've put something incredible together that's helping so many people, so many families. Thank you. Um, when he passed in March, someone mentioned a walk with suicide prevention. They mentioned a walk, and I knew nothing about it. So I researched, and it's really with uh, AFSP, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And now it's held every September, uh, Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. So I needed something to control my life. I needed to have focus. So I said we're joining and we're making a team for Matthew. So our team is MJ40, his name Matthew Youngman, and his lacrosse number was 40. And we gathered and I had a goal. I think back then it was $5,000 to raise and we raised it. And we've been doing it 10 years now. And each year MJ40 has been the top donor fundraiser team and this year I went big and I went $25,000 and we are, as of this morning, $21,500. So we're going to make it by the walk. Absolutely, if not surpass. Yes, well, there's always that. And we what can... <laughs> does that feel like to see how it's grown and how successful it is? You know, it is humbling uh, every year to ask for funds for this cause and for your memory of your son. But it's so rewarding because each year I ask, each year friends, family, my realtor family, it's such a community of love and support. And they give, they show up, they walk with me, we laugh, we cry. And 
I can be proud of that and and know that you know and I give back to in other ways but I'm just really really proud of what we've accomplished and the monies that we're using and how it's staying local my point is teen suicide obviously I lost Matthew at 18 years um, and I I love the it's real program that we are now doing American Foundation of Suicide is uh, doing that program for teens and talk saves lives and those are some of the those are some of the direct impacts of all of our fundraisings and then of course nationally the 988 suicide number because I could never remember right the, the seven digit number right well it's so important to have those resources now and for you to share those and remind us what those are we're so honored that you have been here today and you. shared your story thanks thank I appreciate you. it thank you so much and Chris thank you so much for all that you are doing in the community and bringing light to causes like this the walk is on September 10th Saturday at the Veterans Memorial Park registration starts at 9 the walk starts at 10 and Christopher remind us where to find the advocates yeah you can um yeah, the, the UtahAdvocates.com, um, and we'd like to hear nominations of people that they we want to recognize in the community that are making a difference, you know, and spreading goodness around. And you can do those nominations on the good.